all right so select the cube press x and then delete add mess then select um, UV sphere tab so that you are in edit mode click on this uh, vertex if you are in face selection mode just simply click on vertex select mode and then click on this one so you can you know switch between these by pressing one two three from your keyboard not from your numpad numpad is doing something different so it's it's changing your viewport uh, top view front view uh, you know uh, side views etc so you just need to press one from your keyboard and two and three that will switch between edge select mode and then you know um, vertex select mode so I want to be in the vertex select mode make sure that you click on this uh, proportional editing or press O to toggle between on and off the this proportional editing I want the proportional editing now you make sure that you enable that and then select the top vertex and now press G from your keyboard and then after that you need to constrain your grabbing along Z axis press Z and then grab and then you can scroll your middle mouse to you know adjust the effective radius so that you can see how it's going to look like when you uh, you know grab these things and then now you click on that and then while that uh, vertex is selected press S to scale and press Z and then zero now adjust your middle mouse because you are still in proportional editing mode now you can you know decide how what is the shape is going to be now click on the bottom uh, vertex uh, while you are in proportional editing mode grab along Z axis and also scale along Z axis and then press 0 and now you can adjust your uh, effective radius so that you will get a kind of like a shape that you want yeah I'm happy with this shape now let's grab this uh, face select mode select this face and then not this edge but this edge come to this edge press and hold alt key and then click now extrude E for extrude now S for scaling remember you switch off this proportional editing S for scaling now again extrude S for scaling now extrude slightly yeah that is our base for this uh, lamp shade now to come to the top part let's add a different thing this time let's click on this uh, click on um, the vertex select mode and then shift S select cursor to select it now your 3d cursor is on that selected vertex tab out of the edit mode and then add a cylinder mesh a cylinder uh, let's uh, change the number of um, vertices to maybe 16 and now scale scale this one scale zip z so that you are scaling along x and y but not along z okay there is our rod now select this one tab edit into edit mode select the face mode select the top face and then shift s cursor to selected now the cursor is at this face tab out of edit mode Ob uh, add mesh now you are adding a cylinder again 
now tab edit into scale this one slightly a scale along z axis now tab in to edit mode and then select the the bottom face and then press s to scale now select this uh, face press i to insert now press e to extrude take somewhere here now something like this you can grab it along the axis slightly and now s to scale and then scale it down until you don't see that edges all right now this is your basic shape of your um the lampshade but it's still like you know low poly but if you want to make it uh, smooth you can do it by coming out this and select the uh, the base and then go to object uh, shade smooth and then select the object and come over here to object data properties under the normals put a tick in front of small smooth surface and also click on this one go to object shade smooth and then put a tick in front of that um, but still you see some you know a uh, low poly shape but if you are satisfied with this one you can go ahead and you know use this one as a, a decorative item but if you you know get the statistics of this uh, you know model you have uh, like uh, uh, 772 faces but if you feel like this should be little more uh, smooth go ahead and add control one so that you add one level of uh, subdivision surface modifier so if you come over here range or the spanner you can see you apply uh, you know a subdivision surface modifier to that one but you use basically change the shape right so you select that uh, um, you know the, the the lampshade cover and then tab edit into the tab into the edit mode and then select loop cut put a loop cut somewhere here and then one over here maybe inside also somewhere here and now click on this uh, selection tool and then paste selection top paste press i to insert and now do the same thing for the ins inside face inset now if you tab out of edit mode you can see you have a very you know smooth surface because you added one subdivision surface modifier to this one now you have you know 2898 uh, faces so if you want to keep it small you can always you know leave it as it is without applying any subdivision surface modifiers now let's apply some quick materials to this one i just want to see this one as a glass thing so come over here to our material properties add a new one let's select some very bright blue and also increase the metallic to one and then reduce the roughness to maybe 0.2 somewhere here 0.2 now you don't see the uh the material you, that you just assigned to see that you need to come over here and then instead of uh, material in a solid view select the material preview now you can see your um, metallics uh, metallic uh, or maybe glass like let's make it more like glass glass like uh, uh, base now select the cover add a new material to that let's make it slightly uh, yellow to make it more like a you know cloth and then also i just want to apply a black or some kind of like a metallic rod to that one simply select maybe a gray and then make it metallic and then uh, increase the shininess by reducing the um, the roughness all right now it is it is much like a um, metal bar metal rod all right so this is basically it so you can very quickly build 
you know shapes decorative items for your architectural modeling or you can you know even use this one as you know assets for any other stuff like games or anything all right so that's pretty much it uh hope you will find this one very easy to model and then you can do it in maybe in 30 30 minutes all right so that's all for today and then we will meet with another very simple video uh, on how to build a very simple model using blender uh, until then thanks for watching